Cardano trading sideways, significantly consolidating now for around four days or so. All of us watching the ADA charts wondering, Cardano, are you going to do anything? Is price going to move? In this video, I'm going to break down the short-term charts. I'm going to discuss why I think on the hourly, a big move is on its way. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn the notification bells on for the very best Cardano content on YouTube. Let's jump into it. This is on the hourly. There is a lot of really cool stuff happening. And finally, after some consolidation here, and you see it on this hourly, this sideways action now for around four days, I think, I think a significant move is on its way. So we're going to dig into that. I tweeted not long ago, I said, there's a strong possibility that this Cardano setup will have ADA above $2 in one month from now. We've been tracking this closely. Now ADA is slowly approaching Apex video later. And here's the video. I'm doing it right now. But before we talk about that breakout potential to $2 plus, I want to discuss something. I tweeted this last night, and this is really important. And it, it really is kind of foundational to my Cardano technical analysis. I tweeted, an investor buys Cardano then learns to participate in the protocol. And I've seen many of you do so, tons of you in my DMs, then begins to think. And ideas are born that encourage innovation and motivation to build. Then an ecosystem of decentralization in a world of change emerges. Ada price was the seed, change is what grew. Everybody, there's, there's a diverse range of opinions out there in regards to price for me price matters, not only from an investment perspective, and I know for you, your hard-earned money, you're investing in cryptos. But besides that, price is an entry point for the masses to come into crypto. But beyond that, to start learning about it, to, to start participating, to start coming up with ideas to build on it. This is a decentralized environment of ideas. And so often, is the case that it starts with, hey, let me invest. Let me, let me invest in my future in this, in this innovation that's going to decentralize the world. It starts at price. Price is very meaningful, and I can go on and on about it, but I just want to start there because as we zoom out on the charts, we see the integration of technical advancements, engineering marvels happening before our eyes, the staking mechanism that has grabbed our attention. I'm, I'm a stake pool operator now. The multi-asset ledger that just launched via Mary Hard Fork. The smart contracts coming because of the Alonzo Hard Fork being introduced. Uh, Alonzo Testnet coming in the very short term, like April. And the, the innovation being built on this, it really is integrated into what you see happening on the charts. And that is just upside. That is price increasing. And that's because the value of Cardano network, Cardano blockchain is increasing. And that is a good thing. Price going up is a good thing. It's a good reflection of not only the success of the team behind Cardano, but it's such a good reflection of the success of you all out there, of the participation in this decentralized environment of new ideas. And this is what will change the world, everybody. And price is a part of it. And so we continue to track price. We continue to really, truly want it to succeed. I care about price. I don't want people to lose their investment if crypto tr crashes. And we talk about it all the time. You know, the, the potential for not only Cardano, but Bitcoin, um, something big happening. And we saw it even in March, last March with the global pandemic, you know, it just tanked things. It's very volatile and you have to be very careful. You do not want to spend more money than you can afford to lose. There are responsible ways to go about this, but you can see the potential for continued success now as we've seen what happened going into staking. We've seen what happened going into multi-asset ledger. We are potentially going to see what's going to happen going into smart contracts. Uh, and simultaneously, the timing of this so confluent with the timing of the bull market. So let's talk about the technicals. Let's discuss the, you know, technical analysis aspect of all of it. And let's start here from a video from three days ago. Cardano is doing what we want to see it do, which is testing the 618 line here right around a uh, $1.16 just above. 
and you can see on the six hour chart cardano really interacting with that area and we want to keep an eye on it there's nothing there's nothing so we we want to keep an eye on it we have kept an eye on it for the most part and i want to chart that uh so what we're looking at is very simple swing high to swing low and that's actually we want to go back and we want to chart the swing low to swing high so what cardano did was it broke above uh the support area right so meaning we fell into the support channel we hit this lower trend line target and we broke above that support channel and that that dollar 16 area right here was the 618 of the support channel so what we want to see happen happened we got the volatile bounce off the 786 we came back up out of the channel and then we came down and we tested the the one the dollar 16 at the 618 line it's just a great move there's no guarantees in terms of what happens next but it's definitely bullish everybody from purely technical analysis perspective if you're looking at any other chart the thing that's always weird is bitcoin's really important because even if something in altcoin for instance is looking really bullish from a technical analysis perspective if bitcoin just plummets most altcoins usually are plummeting there's been cases when cardano actually hasn't and and some other altcoins but most often the altcoin market is is following bitcoin however this is a really good bullish setup for cardano so meaning if if bitcoin and the rest of crypto markets we start seeing a bullish april this is extremely an extremely nice setup for cardano this bounce that we saw here um but i want to dig in this is the six hour all here i want to dig in here to the hourly and discuss what's transpiring because i'm seeing some interesting things so here's the move of consolidation that we just talked about um real quick i mean you can you can see the the move of support that we just saw swing low swing high back down to the channel right there's this dollar 16 area we tested we saw support this is what i want to discuss so on this screen if we chart now this fibonacci swing low to our current swing high i want to just show you and i want to get this out of the way the potential for downside and we're going to discuss what that downside will look like because it plays into tracking bullish confirmation but right now to the downside just 100 in the short term realistic possible nothing to freak out about in my opinion would be a dollar 13 down to and that's the 618 down to the 786 at around a dollar eight that's a support area cardano coming down into that area could be a really interesting setup not only because we're on we're on a you know we're on some thin ice down here at this lower trend line but you can see this upper trend line and this lower trend line we'd have this kind of symmetrical triangle set up it would be the second touch to the lower trend line from this touch back here and that's the potential setup now i want to just real quick i want to just chart that support area let's just chart a nice little rectangle and then just get rid of that to clean up the screen a little bit so there's our support area down there now let's talk about the upside so the upside is extremely we're there we are we are at the upside breakout confirmation area which is to say that swing high back here and this is on the hourly to swing low consolidation at a dollar 16. and i'm going to zoom in so you can see this because it's a very confluent resistant type of area so this now is our resistance area on the very short term like right now it's a, it's the 786 around a dollar 26 to the 618 at around a dollar 23. now you can see cardano already tested it like tested the 618 once twice right now we're just below it this is it a dollar 23 area is is the beginning of resistance and it doesn't go much higher this is such a short-term resistance uh that we're looking at a range in this fibonacci of like just about two percent even probably a little less than two percent range it's an easy move for cardano if it decides that the bulls are going to step in but confluent with that entire area you see this trend line running right in between uh the resistance channel right around a dollar 25. so we can call a dollar 25 the most resistance that that cardano is seeing in the short term the reason why it's so important to track this resistance is it's nice that that cardano is above a dollar 20. it's cool but it really doesn't mean much because right now cardano is still just putting in a lower high uh, and we've been discussing the same thing for bitcoin meaning we got the dollar 50 swing high we had this swing high we had this swing high and they're all lower highs 
and now we have kind of this resistance swing high. What we need Cardano to do is truly break this resistance and truly $1.25 is the average of that resistance. So we wanna see Cardano break it and start closing at the very least six hour candles above it, $1.25, but, but more so we wanna see daily candle closes above. We wanna see higher highs and higher lows above. What's good is the $1.16 support on the very short term hourly, we're getting some like higher highs and higher lows right now. Um, so we're kind of in an upward trajectory. The other thing that's really interesting for me when I'm watching these charts is this. And again, sometimes I draw these and some people don't agree, uh, I'm sure, because they're ugly. But if you look at the story playing out in this entire downtrend, we have this upper trend line, right? Downward sloping. And on the screen, I see a story. It's, it's always a story to me, more than, more than a pattern, more than a beautiful looking pattern, I should say. But left shoulder, head, I missed that area, but to the neckline, right shoulder, potentially in play, we're at the neckline, just below the neckline. Remember, the $1.25 area. So left shoulder, head, there's the right shoulder start, in play. It's the story of the bulls versus bears. And I talk about it all the time on the channel, just because there's a lot of new people. What, what is the reason for, a tech, or for um, an inverse head and shoulders? It's simple. It's, it's bears trying to bring Cardano down and failing. The bulls stepping in, Bears stepping in even stronger, bulls stepping in, bears stepping in. And this is a key area of the inverse head and shoulders because they failed. It was, it was not a very strong move on the bears part and the bulls step in and the confirmation is the breakout area at the neckline. So there's the neckline, that upper trend line. So, so really, it, um, you know, we don't have this symmetrical triangle yet. It would be another touch to the downside, but we do have in my opinion, an inverse head and shoulders very close to forming that $1.25 cent area is, is the area to watch. And that's what I'm watching. Now, if we chart uh, a Fibonacci, which is a midterm Fibonacci, this is the midterm reversal that we're looking for because everything we're discussing right now, everybody, is, is short-term stuff, right? Um, we're looking for midterm confirmation, which is swing high to swing low. And there's a Fibonacci resistance right here. Now, this is the trajectory for Cardano to really truly break this huge or this huge ascending triangle that you see on the screen and interestingly enough the inverse head and shoulders target that we just discussed on the short term dollar 20 dollar 25 neckline the target is around a dollar 55 or so so a dollar 50 plus to the upside and you can see that would bring Cardano through the upper trend line of the ascending triangle and would obviously bring Cardano through the midterm reversal confirmation area, this resistance area right here, $1.38 to $1.31. First area to break though, $1.25. We want to see closes above that area, but that inverse head and shoulders, I'm telling you, really interesting to me with that downward sloping neckline uh, could be such a bullish setup for Cardano if the bulls truly are in control here in this right shoulder setup. And that's what I'll be watching. And we talked about it. You know what to look for in the downside. It's, it's just a very, very easy move to the downside if, if cryptos fall. And that's a seven to 10 or 11% to the downside move. And then we have to start discussing support. Does Cardano break that support? That's for another video. Uh, but I wanted just to chart all of this in the short term, discuss what's going on. You see the breakout target to the upside out of this triangle, $2.50 plus, um, and we're right in the middle of it right now. So there's a lot to happen for us to get there and i'm just kind of trying to break down the short term for you so be prepared for anything i appreciate you cruising by uh hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber you see the ticker at the bottom of the screen download block gains crypto tra tracker app also put some information about staking with crypto capital venture earn interest earn rewards on your cardano if you're holding it anyway i appreciate you cruising by everybody have an awesome awesome night i'll leave you with this staking video god bless